All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video. And this, yes, it's time for another unboxing. It has uh, just arrived. A good weight and good size to it. Uh, we are talking uh, Elton John Jewel Box. Now, this is uh, the uh, CD box set edition, uh, which is largely uh, comprised of uh, Elton John uh, rarities, uh, which looks like a lot of fun. So it has uh, just arrived. So let's uh, crack it open and uh, take a look inside. Very excited about this uh, this uh, box set because certainly with Elton John, um, initially the uh, To Be Continued uh, box set uh, that came out years ago was a really nice one, but since then most of the Elton John box sets have just been pretty much uh, greatest hits uh, packages. So this is kind of nice that it is something a little different. So it looks like a box, almost a box within a box, so, so like this, and uh, nicely packaged together. Very nice. Okay. Let's put that over here for now. And this has got a really nice weight to it. So here it is, Elton John Jewel Box. And uh, it has the hype sticker there, Jewel Box, precious gems and sparkling collectibles from the world's uh, favorite singer-songwriter, 60 previously unreleased tracks uh, featuring rarities. At last, the much sought after late 60s, early 70s demos, uh, deep cuts curated by Elton with a written track by track commentary, plus B-sides, liner notes, and more. So that's, uh, it looks like it's gonna be a slipcase kind of thing, so. Uh, I think this uh, comes right off the back here, so that gives you an indication. And uh, we are talking, I believe this is an eight disc set. So precious gems and sparkling collect collectibles, discs one and two, deep cuts, disc three, four, and five, the rarities, disc six and seven, B-sides, and then disc eight is something called And This Is Me. So the final disc celebrates the songs mentioned in Elton's critically acclaimed autobiography, Me, uh, closing the jewel box with the 2020 Academy Award winning I'm going to love me again. There you have it. Okay. And just out, so uh, let's uh, crack this open and take a look inside. Yeah, as I mentioned, it's kind of nice to get uh, uh, a really nice Elton John rarities uh, box set because they seem to be few and far between. Again, so many of them have been just lately just greatest hits collections that we've had over and over and over again, so nice to get something a little bit different uh, from Elton John in particular. And really enjoyed the uh, Elton John um, auto autobiography. Really an enjoyable read. Pick it up if you can. It's simply called Me. Oh, okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the uh, the shrink on for now. So it just comes out like a big old book inside and I don't think there's anything on the back of this um, I think this is just like this this will come out but there's nothing on the back it's just solid green uh, on the back so I'm just gonna leave that there and we'll take a look oh my goodness at this hefty book okay let's see what we've got inside so everything is housed in here so I'm assuming uh, we've got the book uh, at the front and then we will take a look at what we have in the back here. So everything seems to be kind of uh, color-coded uh, in this book, which is interesting. And it's also, this book comes uh, with a nice little purple ribbon, uh, which is quite nice, right, uh, right here. Very nice, so also with a purple ribbon, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the discs here. And so if you can see it here, those are the tracks on disc one deep cuts and there are various uh, vinyl configurations of this uh, now the vinyl uh, configurations don't include all of the songs on here and I think there's three different vinyl configurations like the deep cuts the rarities as well as and this is me but it, apart from I think and this is me the other ones like the deep cuts and the rarities only have selected songs uh, from this so there are more songs available on this CD box set Okay, and then getting into the rarities. And as you can see, yes, the CD simply stood in like that, but there's a little thumb hole there, which is quite nice. And then more rarities.
and you steal even more rarities. Lots of great stuff here. This is going to be a, an enjoyable listen to. Now this is a B-Sides, and uh, it's interesting with this, uh, the B-Sides for here only go back to 1976, and as we've talked about to, with Elton John, uh, I mentioned it a few times, uh, that Elton John has had a lot of uh, songs that are only available on uh, the 45 RPM B-Sides. They haven't necessarily been available on uh, as album tracks, or even in many compilations. Now with regards to the B-Sides, I guess they only went back to 1976 for this one because they have already had a sort of a earlier b-sides from uh, like the late 60s early 70s with elton john that were captured on the uh, double cd rare masters which was released a number of years ago that featured some uh, hard to find singles and b-sides that sort of thing so i think that's the reason they only went back to 76 uh, for this particular one for b-sides okay And then we've got uh, B-Sides right up through to 2005. And I do like the way that everything's color-coded here. And then finally, uh, simply, And This Is Me. Okay. And I give you a print here. The Okay, let's uh, take a look at, at the book as best we can. It is quite an extensive book, but uh, we'll see how we venture through here. It's, again, the, boy, the, the quality of the paper is really, really nice. But uh, yeah, this, so we got this. Try to pop this up as much as I can. But yeah, very nice book. And uh, kicking things off with uh, some really nice uh, pictures of Leon Russell and Elton John, which is quite nice. So yeah, lots of uh, artwork throughout, a lot of the press releases, posters, magazine covers, 45 singles. And just a very nice um, presentation for this, for sure. This is a great album. If you haven't picked this album up, it's a, another great Elton John album. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of pictures with uh, Leon Russell, and that's Elton John really, really enjoyed working with... Uh, Leon Russell. He's always looked up to a Leon Russell. So just tons of tons of great artwork for sure. Hopefully you're able to see all this okay. I love the stash. <laughs> Such a nice presentation. As I mentioned, the only big, uh, real big uh, Elton John box set was the box set called To Be Continued. I'm trying to remember when that was released. That was like a big LP size uh, box set. I think that was released, gosh, was it the late 90s? Or sorry, the uh, late 80s, early 90s, something like that. But that's a terrific box set. But since then, there really hasn't been anything that I can remember substantial. Other than Rare Masters is a really nice uh, double CD of of rare stuff but that came out in the 90s on the uh, Chronicle series but it hasn't been until now of something other than a number of greatest hits compilations okay so much music I had no idea there were so many Previously unreleased, like rarities in the Elton John collection for sure. There's a picture from the movie. And I think that is about it. And then we get into the hard cardboard and then into the CDs. And pretty much all the CDs uh, look like this. Certainly continuing to go with this E um, on all of the sort of packaging on the branding of Elton John. Okay, as I say, it's really got a nice weight to it. It's a simple uh, slip case. And I do like the pink ribbon. That is a nice little touch for 
for the reading and references. Okay, so that is simply uh, going to wrap it up uh, for this one. And that's uh, Elton John. So really looking forward to uh, enjoying this. And again, thank you so much uh, for dropping by. And uh, thanks to all uh, my subscribers. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the videos. And of course, many more videos still to come. So do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.